Now's our chance. Authorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. Sterilization protocol. Well, at least we know where it is this time. Quite. And if we want it. <laughs> if we want it. All we have to do is kill an icon. Safety routines disabled. Weapons armed. Stand clear. Assessment complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. 
Rerouting core power to Omega-1. Not yet. And what makes you say that?
Seems like it still has some fire left in it. Nothing slow. All yours, Bobo.
restricting all of creation. Well then... We'd better kill it quick. Control unit. Offline. Initiating. Emergency core extraction. Would you care to do the honors, Clive? I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe, one of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the Twins. A nation without a Mother Crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The Dust Crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? Like all crystals, these shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? No, but that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force, till naught remains, naught but death. 
The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me! You're Sid! You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will, that there is another heart hidden right here under their noses? Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way, then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. thing. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. 
We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away? Again? What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like... Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but... fine. Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. Back, are you? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from, or what? It's, uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. And I'd hazard the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial heart, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If
if one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. It's a dangerous world out there. Best stop. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? 